Papa, the eviction show, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Now, please put your hands together for your host, Gretel Colleen. Eviction number eight. It's going to be great. Now I need your attention here because this is a very symbolic moment. Two months ago we planted 12 seeds in the Big Brother garden and every week we have to transplant one of those back to the real world. It is now getting very hard. Who is it going to be? That beautiful oak tree offering strength and shelter, Johnny. Will it be that posy of flowers, Sarah Marie? Or will it be the hilarious rock, Ben? Protecting love blossoming in the Garden of Eden between Sarah Marie and Ben. They have grown to be part of our lives and we have all grown to love them and look at this. Oh, aren't you a Blair look-alike? Even if you are absolutely freezing. And then, are you all Eduardos or are you Ben's? Eduardos. I see a sign up there that says, Save Sarah Marie and her bum. I don't think the two can be disconnected. We've got Sarah Marie's here. Okay. We've got the Johnny Lookalike Club. Could I tell you that combined, your bodies aren't as big as his? <laughs> and over here, we've got bosoms, bosom, bosoms, but as we know, they're not real. We've got Sarah Marie fans. All right, now. <laughs> what we have to do now... What we have to do now is decide who is leaving the house. All right, you've got to get your finger on the dial. You have to decide who is leaving, who will be repotted here on the stage tonight. Okay, I'll give you the numbers. Are you ready? To vote Ben out of the house, anyone who's got a mobile here, you can zap away. The number is 1902 555010. For Johnny, ring 1902-555011. Or for Sarah Marie's eviction, dial 1902-555012. Okay, now we all know the ritual when we cross to the house, we're all very, very quiet. Now interestingly enough, in the house, they're also getting used to the ritual and they were caught practicing, so let's have a look at that. Hi, I'm Griddle. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on this week, everyone? We have the highs and the lows. So, who's sitting on the nomination couch this week? Hello, house. Hello, house. Hello, house. <laughs> I'm so glad you noticed I've been practicing that all day. of you because now they've decided that that is a Gretel look-alike they think oh well we'll save on makeup and wardrobe and we'll just go with a sock 
Sure. So thank you very much. And look who else I've got here for you. <laughs> it's been my dream to have this many babes in my arms, I can assure you. <laughs> now tell me, what was it like being a parent? <laughs> Exhausting. I liked it, but I got the worst mark. And you I did liked get it the most. worst mark. But you still look good while you did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. It was actually exactly like parenting. Renovating the house, fixing up the lawn, sleepless nights and no sex. So, there you go. <laughs> Not through one of trying. <laughs> Now, <laughs> you know, of course, that these little family members have left, but your other family members are returning. The chickens are coming back. Yay! And Blair, I know that you hang on out my every word. <laughs> I just want to say that regarding the rooster competing with you, oh! I want you to know that I meant the rooster could run faster oh! than you. Oh! Now, now you can be happy again, and I just want to say to you, Sarah Marie, we also hang on the every word that you guys utter, and uh, I heard you promise that you were going to do something with Christina if you didn't leave the house tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Yes, you uh, promised to patch Christina. Well, we'll see if we have to hold you to that deal. We'll be coming back to you a little bit later. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. All right, now, when somebody leaves the house, although they have been practicing their parenting, they still need mothering skills, and that's why we've got people here to share them. Please help me with these babies. I was going to throw them, but then, of course, the RSPCA would be onto us. There we go, and here's another baby for you. Oh. That's why you don't need a husband, you can do it all by yourself. All right, now who have we got here? We've got Luke, cousin. Yep. Very uh, cute, very nice. We've got Linda, this is Ben's cousin. Linda, of course. Ben's mother. Ben's mother, I'm glad you remembered. And then we've got <laughs> Lenny here. That's right. Very good friend of Johnny's. We've got two other friends of Johnny back here, Warren and Anthony. Oh, Over here, you see some of these people we've never met before, but these ones <laughs> here are like members of our family. Sarah Marie's sister, Jolene. <laughs> about his age. All right. <laughs> now, there are a lot of butterflies in this waiting room and a lot of chewed nails in this audience. We all know why. This is Big Brother Live. There's an eviction on the way. Get ready to rumble. Um, I don't want to leave the show. Sunday night, you could be in your hotel room. Who's it going to be? You've got the bluest little eyes, haven't you? Yes, you have. <laughs> Someone to talk to. <laughs> the lawn all partied hard and only just woken up but in the big brother house life is not so carefree now there are less people there's more pressure and every housemate nominated or not is feeling it two words and then keep busy Oh. But don't, don't think about it too much. Just don't think about, think about it. it too much, really. Don't think about it. Just don't think about Just it. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Have you been thinking about it? A little bit, not much. Oh, you shouldn't think about at it. At all? No. Not at Do all. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, look, you know, we can talk if you like. I'm uh, <laughs> pretty comfortable with the whole situation. I'm a one in three chance of leaving. Yep. Yeah, I'm a uh, 66% chance of staying. Mm. 33% chance of going. I got the feeling you have been thinking about it. 
Oh, no, I just always like to think of our probability in gambling, you know? So that sort of thing. Well, try not to think about it. But how are you feeling? Sweet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if I um, go tomorrow, so I um, had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hope you don't go just because. Yeah. Um, I love everybody, but and I'm really like on your wavelength. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. No, and no, it's just nice to have somebody chilled around. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. To look after us all. Yeah. Because you do do that. Mm. I wonder if it's an age thing. No, I don't think so. No? No. I think it's just the way you are. Mm. You're just a really caring um, person. <laughs> Tomorrow, I wake up. Yep. No shower, shower in the afternoon. Okay. Basketball. Yep. Have garden. Mm -hmm. Packing suitcase. As the hardest part about being nominated, when you don't leave, you feel relieved and you feel guilty for not for the other person going. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it depends. Like oh, when Anita. it's someone like Shana or something, oh, I don't When it was with Anita, it was like... Oh, oh but yeah. That's good, because she wanted to... Ooh, happy for Anita, yeah. yeah. And I love her as a good friend now, so... Yeah. Five times. Survivor. Come and get me. I think we're in for some extraordinary moments over the next few weeks. Now, you know, Johnny is the housemate's housemate. They just love him. And that's the way it's always been with Johnny. He's got some great mates out there. So let's meet the gang from his gym in Sydney. Sammy Lucas is there. Sammy, what's happening? Well, Gretel, we've got some very, very nervous Johnny supporters down here tonight. Of course, I'm sure Johnny would love to stay in the Big Brother house for a few more weeks yet, but this is his home away from home. This is the gym where he trains his clients. We've brought along a few of his closest friends and family. How are you feeling, guys? Very, very, very excited. Of course, there's been a huge Save Johnny campaign. We've been reading about it, hearing it on the radio, seeing it on the television, even got a few emails. Now, how's this for support? The gym here have established the Johnny Poll. It's the Save Johnny Poll. <laughs> so you can come in and read all about Johnny and find out how you can save him. Got a few people dressed up. How are you guys feeling? Oh, that Johnny cast. What, what a guy! guy. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, over here, we've got some people who know and love him very, very well. Troy, it's been amazing the way the gay yeah. community really have supported Johnny this week. Have we ever seen yeah. the gay community really support someone in such a big way before like this? I think it's the first time we've actually really had a, a real live gay person on TV in yeah. everybody's lounge rooms and they're really confronted with it so we've you know so yeah it's controversy it's out there yeah. it's judgment and so very public yes very public so we're challenging a lot of new do you, fields do you yeah. think they've done enough can we save him well let's see ah, let's just see okay. okay okay guy come on down one of johnny's closest friends and very very well dressed if you don't mind are you entering the best dressed competition absolutely <laughs> and i think i've won tonight do you think he's got a bad rap um, completely. Utterly. He's not a villain. He's a nice kind of guy. Channel 10, they... No, it's him. not Channel 10. Oh, they did a bad job. It's, real. it's reality TV, baby. Yeah, the That's real what it's story. all about. We I think we've heard enough from you. Sasha, Sasha, this is your chance. You've known Johnny for ages. Look down the camera. Ten minutes of voting left. Tell the public why they should not vote Johnny out of the house. How could you vote him out? He's the most beautiful person. He's the gorgeous guy that lives next door. You want him round, he's gorgeous, he's beautiful. Please don't vote him out. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> well, Johnny can lift weights in the gym and he can shoulder a lot of weight in the house. Johnny's first nomination week was a tense tightrope walk between the two sides of his personality, strength and sensitivity. Ben, Johnny, and Sarah Marie. 
This is the first week that I've been nominated. It's a bit scary. It's a bit, um, bit freaky. I've got different uh, emotions about it. I don't really want to sit here and overanalyze the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if you did, that's what she's there for. And she just warned me, so I leave early. <laughs> I just want to enjoy the week and have as good a time as I can. It's such mixed feelings, isn't it? About yeah, being nominated. Yeah, it's, it's, it, we've done our bit, and it's like one yeah. part of you is like, oh, well, it's like, you know, I've had a good run in, so. Yeah. Tell me, tell me just what kind of they were looking for. I think I'm feeling my age. <laughs> Do you reckon it's a weird feeling that this could be your last week in here, Janino? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm heading out the door. Yeah. That's what we all say. That's about. what we all say. That's so normal. That's so normal. We always say that. I think I'm up against uh, some rather competitive... Fifth time running. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> we know the audience loves you. I don't have any sympathy. <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> Bitch. I don't, honestly. <laughs> It's quiet, we're doing a bit excited about Sunday. It is exciting. A bit, yeah, scary as well. Oh, yeah. I'm just so used to living in here now, and I keep thinking, oh man, I just don't know what I'm going to say if I want to get out there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> as I explained to Blair and Benny the other night, it's just to show that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight or whatever it is, you can get on with anyone. It's just about the person that you're dealing with. That's pissing down! <laughs> <laughs> achieve what I wanted to achieve and that was to have a good time, to have a great time and to experience the Big Brother experience. Cheers. Cheers guys. Mm. Mr. Dinner. Mm. Thank you Big Brother. Thank you Big Thanks, Brother. Brother. Thank you Big Brother. Big Brother. Yeah. Big Brother. Yeah. Hard day. This is Big Brother Live. Those voting lines are boiling. We'll see which evictee you want served up very soon. easier anyway doing a bit of walking yeah. don't like the word exercise no no it's just going walking. for a stroll going for a walk having a chat having a, a coffee chat. okay which way we'll we'll go this way well we'll go this way okay. that's fine cool <laughs> <laughs> so i normally do a quick turn around here through the mud okay my god i'm bored already Have you voted yet? Ben is 1902-555-010. Johnny, 1902-555-011. And Sarah Marie, 1902-555-012. Well, there is an exciting new science in the world of Big Brother. The study of large, hairy and humorous objects. Joining me now are two of Australia's leading experts in Benology. His mother Linda and his cousin Luke. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Gretel. Now tell me, what was it like seeing Ben as a parent? It was a bit scary, and he, I, he doesn't support the neck well enough. They're about my only critic, and he doesn't look like Ben and at how, all. And how did you feel becoming a grandma so quickly? I knew he'd come out of the house different, but not this different. <laughs> <laughs> Is he the same bloke that you know in the house? Um, I guess he is, but uh, him becoming a father, we hadn't discussed that before he went in the house, so I was a little bit shocked. He 
didn't put that through me, so <laughs> not really, I guess. <laughs> now, tell me, do people treat you differently because you've got this special person on television? When I'm wearing that, they do. You wear a Ben Big Brother t-shirt. I do. Where I, do you wear it? Anywhere. Everywhere. What, to Woolies? Woolies, Franklin's, everywhere. Cocktail parties? Yes. And why do you do that? Promotion. <laughs> I don't think he needs it. Now, is he a good cousin? Uh, he's very good. He, um, there's a lot of stories to tell about him. Um, in fact, the, the one I've got about him is the, the word Jota, which has uh, gone nationwide, I've heard. Uh, Show us your back. Jota! <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a Korean word. Uh, we used to work with a, a Korean guy who spoke absolutely no English at all. And uh, every time that it was sort of lunch or something, he'd da jota! And we are wondering what it is, and Ben being the uh, person is, sort of asked him, what does jota mean? Uh, uh, it means very good in Korean. So Ben got a you know, hold of it and it's uh, been rife in the family okay. ever since. It might just mean lunch, you do realise that. <laughs> Probably, but uh, we'll use that for now. <laughs> now, the big question, is there a love affair between Ben and Sarah Marie? Is that blossoming? What are the thoughts from the They've mother? They've got a kid, so... They've got a kid? Yeah. You'd hope so. Would you like Sarah Marie as your daughter-in-law? <laughs> yes! <laughs> now, tell me, Luke, is Sarah Marie Ben's type? Um, I guess she could be, yes. Her father's sitting over there, so I'll say yes. <laughs> Diplomats all round, thank you for joining us. That's great. Okay, now, well, Ben faced up to his first nomination the same way he'd take on a front rower. Stampeding across the footy field, of course, he tackled it head on and he brought it crashing to the ground. I'm relieved now. You relieved? Yeah. That's how I felt last week. It's like you've, it's good, sort of good to have your turn. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely good. Definitely, we're we'll probably overdue. So you guys hold the record anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both the same week. Yeah, I'm deadlock. But it's, yeah, I just felt like it was overdue, and I, I think it was um, probably a bit unfair to the public. I think they deserve, because they're as much a part of the show as we are. They deserve to have their say about everything, and they haven't had their chance to to say it totally until this week. Yeah, and it's right in the middle of you. It's right in the middle, look like you... <laughs> yeah, but when, I'm, when I get out there on the stage and I'm wearing this, yeah, g'day Gretel. But when you are nominated, you're sort of relieved. Well, I was anyway. Yeah, I'm sure it'll get more exciting as the week goes on. And... finished? Yeah, done now. I'd definitely prefer to stay. I'd, I'd really, I would love to stay. I don't feel like going in. Can you talk about one, Zach? Yeah. Ben, send one, Zach. Oh, Christ. Ask a what? I'm never getting there. Uh, I can't wait to see Zachy. Let me have a look at Zach. Is he all right? It's a doll. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're doing a bit excited about Sunday. Yeah. It just won't be the same without us, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the better. <laughs> I'll never ever get an opportunity like this again. So I just wanted to live it while it was here and make the most of it, and hopefully it will be the whole three months. But if not, no drama, I guess. closely this week and more often than not I spy him close by the side of his big brother wife Sarah Marie. Now it might be the experience of motherhood, it might be the effect of five nominations but she is a changing woman. Thinking there's only four weeks to go and think of all the memories we've had. Mm. The sad ones and the happy ones and the crazy stupid ones. Yeah. Things I've said and done I think to myself. Um. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> I don't want to go now. Um, I want to stay here to the end. I want to be the 
the most nominated people in all the world of it. All the world of Big Brother, but survived more. Well, I thought he's both a good kiss. He's got like Ben better because he's a kiss good. <laughs> Which means she thinks I'm a better kiss. Yeah. That's fine. I'm I can't sure. believe we're competing at this. You know, <laughs> 99. I'm an individual, all right? <laughs> I'm my own style, all right? Last night I could have kissed all night. I just get. In the, I just like kissing. I'll be snogging you on Sunday if I'm still here for Christina. Oh my God, we're getting weirder and weirder. I, love it. I have had lots of fun, but um, it's. I didn't think I'd be um so emotional in here. I didn't. Uh, there's things. Uh, husband and wife down. <laughs> yeah, relationship down. <laughs> so I'm just exhausted. I'm just really going for the fifth time to go through this again in such a short time. So, so happy. happy. So happy. He's my husband. Did you enjoy sleeping with him last night? So you happy with that arrangement, how we did it last time? I loved it. Do you like how he's hiding me? Is he squished? <laughs> been a very good challenge, been a fun one. I love the experience. Well, no, Definitely. I don't, I don't want one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Back to cooking. Overall, no, no. the best no, couple. No, you didn't. I've loved it, but I just don't want to go on Sunday. To go or not to go, that is the question. You control the cast on Big Brother and we'll discover which character you've written out of the script after the break. Big Brother, can I do... This ...to be eviction. Can I do we? Crowd. Now tell me, who have you come at? Johnny. You see, wasn't that a good idea? I could either talk to a camera by poking it up there, or I could talk to someone and we can't hear you. You're Johnny. You know he's got better skin than that, don't you? And who are you? Um, I'm the outside camera. Oh, you are. Oh, don't tell me you've got a windscreen wiper. Can you show it to the camera? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you know these guys are going to be in the running for the Sony Best Fan in the House prize. It is an incredible prize. The plasma screen that is in the house, Sony CD, DVD machine, a home entertainment package, and the value is almost $20,000. OK. The phone lines are closed. Who will it be? While the votes are tallied, you know that we cross to the house, and you know what that means. Quiet as a mouse. Okay. Hello, house. Hello. All right. Now, I know I'm always tedious with you at this point, but it's because I'm as nervous as you are. Sarah Marie, how are you? Um, yeah, well, I'm a bit nervous tonight, actually. Why are you nervous? Have you got that feeling it's going to be you? Yeah, and my sister's out there, hopefully, and I don't, I sort of don't want to leave here. <laughs> oh, you want to stay in the house? I don't know. I'm confused. Was there I... any point where you actually wanted to leave in the other four nominations? Did yeah, you ever actually want to go? Yeah, ago, I was ready to go. And now you're not? No, I'm a bit scared of all of you out there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look after you, don't you <laughs> worry. Now, Ben, what about you? It's your first time. Um, a mixture of nerves and excitement, really, Gretel. Oh, do you expect you're so diplomatic. Yeah. You make an excellent <laughs> football commentator. Sitting on the fence. Are you? Oh, <laughs> Sitting no. on the fence and on the bench. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Johnny, what about you? You a bit stressed? Uh, no, it's all good. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, I'll be right. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Those I'm are the fine, words, I'm yeah, fine, they're fine. the words of someone who's a bit stressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get it over and done with. Oh, 
It's time to go, Johnny. Yeah. 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 This is Big Brother. Okay. You have 20 seconds to leave the house. 19, well done. 18, huh? 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. tears and that's just from me
to tell you, I have to tell you that a lot more of your friends are going to come, but they had something else to do. What was that? They had to go to a Save Johnny party, so let's cross live. Over here, there they are. Oh, now they God. can't hear you. They there can't they hear are. Me. There they are. Hey! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah! 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 All right. Settle Sorry. down. I need your Sorry. attention. Okay, no, I'm Sorry. putting all of that hooting yep. down to the release of tension. How are you feeling now? Um, I'm actually surprisingly feeling quite good. Are you? Yeah, relaxed and uh, pretty good. It's good to be out. Yay! <laughs> Did you think it was going to be you? Uh, to be honest with you, I'd have to say yes. You just had a feeling? I did have a feeling, yeah. No, why did you have that feeling? Um, well, I'm an intuitive person for a start, but also I think that the group as a general whole sort of was just moving a little bit away from me. As a, that's what I felt anyway. Well, it was interesting because you were really the dad in the house. Apparently so. I was the older guy in the house and I really didn't want to wear that, that sort of uh, tag, but that's just how it was. And I well, you made it. a great dad. So oh, thank you. Let's have a look at some of that footage. Oh. <laughs> so, Johnny, I'm asking for your help here. Oh, okay, okay. They're saying to us, we can film you 24-7 and we have the choice to put on whatever we want and therefore how the audience reacts to whatever we put on is actually ultimately your behaviour that instigated it first. So you are actually responsible for that. Yeah. Just treat them as you would expect to be treated. Yeah, that's nice. Action. Do we want opening credits or closing credits? So do we want... Do we want... What, what, what are we going to call it? Opening, like... Opening, yeah. Man Down, starring Blair <laughs> Ads. Yeah. You have got a really big job, and I understand what you have to do. And you, I'm sure you'll get 10 out of 10, but other people are a bit worried because this is supposed to be a group effort in there. I agree that it's... A, if you said, have you said what you wanted to say? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry that A, that you're feeling the way that you're feeling um, and if anybody else is feeling that they haven't contributed to the piece and Chris has pointed it out a few times. I'm always like that, though, you know. So we have two minutes to decide on a chairperson for tonight's eviction. Well, I don't mind if you guys want. Yeah, I don't mind. Is everyone agree with that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Big Brother Court is now in session oh. with Judge Johnny presiding. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think the response would be when you came out? Uh, it's really funny because all the other housemates are always sitting there and wondering if there'll actually be anybody out here. We kind of estimate maybe a couple of hundred people, but it's wicked to see like, I don't know, maybe a couple of thousand people here. So thank you guys. Yay. <laughs> now, I have to ask Johnny, you're incredibly diplomatic in the house. Yes. Is that a course that you did? No, I think it's just a natural uh, instinct in me. You I'm, don't like arguments? Uh, I don't like arguments, but I'm quite happy to have confrontation because from confrontation you can learn something from those as well. Right, I don't well, want to sound like a dad here. <laughs> well, you nearly do, but yeah, you're getting through. Now, there, we had a little bit of trouble out here because in the first couple of weeks we noticed that you would hug people yeah. and then they would be evicted. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> now, Triple M wrote a song about it. Oh, so, really? let's have a look. Let's have a look at that for a minute. First there was 12 and Andy felt the night go in and Johnny's being so sympathetic and he says, I love you. 11 left and Shauna spits the dummy. Here comes Johnny, slips his arm around her and he says, I love you. I'll make a bet the kiss of death is standing there to comfort them and then he'll say I love you. Oh Well I All worked right. up until tonight obviously <laughs> <laughs> Were you giving yourself a big hug before you came? Uh, no, but I wish somebody else in the house had No Gemma did actually God that means she's probably next <laughs> What do you think about that? Did, well, I know that nominating people was a very difficult thing for you. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that you're also a hugger. Yeah. Now... Ah! 
What a bond. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to say that some people thought that was a little bit odd that you could nominate people and then hug them. Does that sit strangely with you? Um, the nomination process was something that had to be done. So you always had to nominate someone. And no, it doesn't sit strangely with me because you might be hugging them for, because they might be feeling unhappy about something else or you might want to comfort them for a certain reason. Uh, other than to do with the nomination process itself. So you didn't in any way see that as being having double standards or stabbing someone in the back? No. Okay, cool. No. Now, I just want to get that out of the way. Definitely the not. other <laughs> thing that concerned you in the House, mm -hmm. I remember Anita discussing with you, mm -hmm. how do you feel about being perceived, I mean, I'm yeah. paraphrasing here, about being gay Johnny? Um, I don't really have a problem with that because fundamentally I'm proud. Fundamentally, there's that word. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of who I am. So if people want to... If people... <laughs> if people want to see me as Johnny the gay guy, that's up to them. But I'm Johnny and there's a lot more to me than just my sexuality. you are probably the first openly gay man on Australian television, so congratulations. I think so, thank you. <laughs> All right, now just a quick answer. Did you feel in the house that you were being yourself? Yes, definitely. All right, let's have a look at you being yourself in the house. It's interesting the show that I have found myself on and the things that you people put us through. You're loving it. We're bondaging. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, getting firm. Are you right, too? We 12 has come as one to have some fun. It was a good guy. Oh, I hate the fact that I get so goddamn emotional in this place. <laughs> I'm going a little bit crazy. Oh, you so Oh, thank you, Miss you. I love you. Love you too. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was once a police officer in training. I once had... Was it a construction worker or I once was an Indian? To the left. To the others. Go, mate. And... Now, you got on fabulously with all the people in the house, and obviously at this point in time, it's hard for people to decide who to nominate. Yeah. But you all had to do it, so let's have a look at who nominated you. Oh, uh, I like that. And my second nomination will be for Johnny, just because he hasn't been nominated before. Johnny, because he's never been nominated, like, on the chair on a Sunday. One vote for Johnny. Last week when, um, Anita got really upset, Johnny apologised straight away, which was fine to make it feel better, but he didn't fully believe that he should have said sorry. Yeah, he just does that. He just apologises for... He's a bit too diplomatic, if that makes any sense for you. Any shocks there? Um, <clears throat> no. <laughs> Diplomatically answering, no. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm going to donk no, you on the knee true. with this clipboard. It was interesting that both Ben and I were nominated on the same time because neither of us had been nominated before, so I was kind of expecting that. And are you too diplomatic? Is there such a thing? No, I don't think so. You spoke your mind? I definitely spoke my mind when I felt that I needed to. I don't feel that there were enough um, situations in the house where I had to be a little bit more confrontational other than with the time with Anita. But if um, I have a confrontation, I'm happy to speak my mind. Cool. Definitely. Okay, let's have a look at the tally. There you go. Okay. That's becoming pretty normal, I have to tell you. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. 
And also people suspect that Sarah Marie and Ben are having a love affair. A love affair? Yes. They might be. They might I'll be. I'll let everyone else decide We that. didn't think you'd be involved in mm -hmm. that. Now, I know that Big Brother made your life rather hard. I just want to show you some fabulous footage of you trying to take time out meditating. Oh. <laughs> women all over the country being gay with a body like that don't well, you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay well now I can't speak so I guess that's the end of the interview thank you very much what's it been like not having Johnny welcome back here Warren Anthony and Lenny what's it been like not having him with you really boring yeah. <laughs> really but boring. he's been on the telly but yeah it's we miss you it's sort of like very weird not be able to not talk having to him and there. tell him what's going on the Johnny in the house is the Johnny you know Exactly. Yeah. It's nice being able to share him with everyone because, you know, he's worth sharing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> now, did you make some new real friends in the house, do you think? Yes, definitely. Who would you say? Uh, in fact, most of them, surprisingly. Uh, I, I made a definite strong connection with Gemma. She's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful woman, actually, I should say. <laughs> Sarah Marie, the little Sarah Marie fan club over here. <laughs> Sarah Marie is completely nuts. I think she's a fantastic girl. She's got, she's just nuts. I love her. Um, Lisa, I miss Lisa. Uh, and Blair, of course, definitely Blair. What, can you remember off the top of your head, what was the hardest time for you in the house? I would actually have to say the hardest time was probably at, at the very beginning, the first two, about the first two weeks, so I just felt that I wasn't really, uh, clicking with anyone just to start with. And you know everyone had that feeling? Yeah, well, I had my own issues there, but I'm sure they had their <laughs> issues going on. So after a while you settled into who you really are? Yeah, definitely. Because you wouldn't be used to hanging around with people like that, would you? No, definitely not. No. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you, the big brother, 11 questions. Your yeah. job, of course, is to tell us if he's telling the truth. In the house, what did you miss the most? What did I miss the most? Yes. <laughs> All right. Sex followed by chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that answer from Johnny's mother in the crowd yeah. was <laughs> sex. Now, it must have been a bit difficult because there were all those beautiful boys around. Mm. I mean, I would have found it difficult. Was that frustrating and tending um, to make you irritable? Uh, uh, <laughs> you can say yes or no. Okay, that's was, a yes. Yeah, okay. There, was, there were definitely times where it was getting a little bit, uh, shall we say, irritable. Yes. <laughs> All right, fair Toe, enough. Toe is the word I'm looking for. Who was your favourite person in the house? See, I could be really diplomatic here and say I didn't have a favourite person. I thought they were all really fantastic guys with a lot of great, great qualities. You've already been accused of being too diplomatic, so I want okay, the truth. Okay, my favourite person that I got on with the most... 
Gemma. Okay. I'm going to give you a time limit on these answers okay, cool. now. Bring it on. Least favourite person. Oh, this is going to be hard for diplomat, no. Johnny. Uh, Anita. Anita. <laughs> Who had the most annoying habit? <laughs> <laughs> the most annoying habit, I would have to say, went to Gemma as well. Even though I loved her, she still had really annoying habit. And what was it? Uh, putting on her lips, lip gloss. <laughs> Even as a gay guy, it got annoying. <laughs> you never thought you'd say that, no, would you? No, I didn't actually. Okay, person you could most fall in love with. It can be a boy or a girl, obviously. Oh, that's terrible. Blair. <laughs> Blair. <laughs> Along with the rest of the yeah. nation. Okay, funniest person in the house. Funniest person in the house. I would have to give it to Ben. <laughs> Laziest person in the house? Sarah Marie. <laughs> Cleanest, that was you. That was me. All right. <laughs> What's your greatest regret from your time in the house? That I wasn't in there for the last three weeks. Uh, do you feel like you've failed in any way or you've succeeded in getting no, this No, I definitely don't feel like I've failed because uh, I was only aiming for a six-week mark when I first got there. I said anything after six weeks, I'd be really happy with that. But uh, it's just that the last three weeks coming up will be a completely different experience yep. to the last nine weeks or however long I've been in there. So I would like to have experienced that. What was the reason you went into the house? Uh, the reason I went to the house was to A, have some fun, because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. And, um, and a crack at $250,000. Come on, let's not kid ourselves here, everyone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Everyone says they're not there for the money, but like, yeah, right. <laughs> do, you think, do you think an all-gay Big Brother house would be a little different? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, With different. no Madonna allowed to be glad? Yeah, I think it'd be a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who will be out next week? Can I give one person or two? You can one. do what you want, you're the star. Yeah, exactly. Um, Either Chrissy or Gemma. Okay. Who will win? Oh, do I have to answer that? Yes, you do. Oh. Well, they're all winners, but ultimately, I think having a look at this crowd and just Blair. Blair. Blair or Sarah Marie. All right. <laughs> While well, you love Blair, we love Blair. But we have footage of you kissing Sarah Marie. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it on. Let's start. Let's start. <laughs> it shocked her more than it shocked you. I think it did. Why I, did you do that? Why would I do that? Why did you? Um, I don't know, I kind of like kissing, so I hadn't had a kiss for like nine weeks, so she seemed like the first available person. Why did you choose, <laughs> why did you choose Sarah Marie and not Gemma? Because uh, I knew A, Gemma wouldn't do it, and Sarah Marie would definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well Gordon wasn't still in yeah. the house. <laughs> All right, now did you bring your legacy item? Yes, I did. Now, we all know that the legacy item goes up for auction. Dirty pair of um, board shorts. Fantastic. Now, who is your, cho your chosen charity? Uh, I've decided to give um, this to the AIDS Trust of Australia. Okay. Here they are, and if you would like to bid for these, which won't fit anyone, but they're nice to hug, you can go to <laughs> our website, which is bigbrother.com.au, and there'll be all the details there. Now, we want to say thank you to you. We know you've had enough of video cameras, but we're giving you a Sony Digital yeah. 8 Handycam. Cool. <laughs> we are also cool. giving you the Big Brother single, which I have to say is racing up the charts. Is it and really? when you go clubbing, you're going to hear it. Oh. <laughs> and Sony PlayStation 2. Yeah. One 
quick question. Yes. What do you think is going to happen now? Um, what's going to happen now? I'm probably going to go and have a drink with these guys and get completely yes. smashed. Uh, <laughs> and then after that, uh, great, fantastic things will happen from here on end. Good on you. Thank you all of you for joining us. shrunk to five and Big Brother still has some amazing surprises in store for the housemates and of course you. Now to play us out tonight is Joe Enrique with Shake Up the Party. On your mind And boy, you haven't taken me out for some time The work is so hard in the day, but the night's so in love I don't know what just the night says I'm going I don't want nobody else but you So let me pull you close and let me love you through and through You gotta shake, baby! I don't want nobody else but you it's time to get away and have a tail tail for you. We're gonna shake what? Shake, 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 shake your body. Come on, boy, let's have a fun. Let's go. The conga to play around. Those are congas. Go. Shake up, shake up the party. Come on, boy, we don't need nobody to get I know we're too good for town. Come on. I really don't care. Do you think we're strong? I'm gonna my hand up, no, 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 Big Brother.